Here's problem 4-1. The ball is thrown horizontally from the top of a building 0.1 kilometers high. The ball strikes the ground at a point 0.65 meters horizontally away from below the point of release. What is the speed of the ball just before it strikes the ground? Well, if we're looking at this kind of situation where we're throwing the ball straight horizontally, its time in the air is going to be governed by the time it takes to fall to the ground. And that distance, we're told, is 0.1 kilometers, so that's 100 meters. So that's going to govern its time, at least in the y direction. There is no initial velocity in the y direction. And hence, <clears throat> we have an acceleration of a positive 9.8 meters per second squared. And our displacement, delta y, is 100 meters. Well, let's find our time. In other words, displacement is equal to initial velocity times time plus one-half acceleration times time squared. In this case, the initial velocity is zero. And as we solve this for time, we would have that if I can get this, time is equal to two times the displacement divided by the acceleration square root which would be 2 times 100 divided by 9.8 square root and that's equal to 4.52 seconds. Hence, the final velocity in the y direction is going to be the initial velocity in the y direction plus acceleration times time. Our initial velocity in the y direction is 0 and so this is going to be equal to 9.8 times 4.52 seconds and that's equal to 44.3 meters per second. That's in the y direction. Now if we consider the x direction we're, uh, we're going to actually move a displacement of 65 meters and the time is going to be the same. So that's the key for all these problems is that these two separate motions are done simultaneously. And so our time is going to be 4.52 seconds. So we have no acceleration in the x direction. And if we use our same formula, then delta x is equal to initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared, but in this case the acceleration is zero. And hence our initial velocity is going to equal our displacement divided by our time. 65 divided by 4.52 is equal to 14.4 meters per second. So our final velocity as a vector is going to equal 14.4i uh, minus, if we're going in the negative y direction, 44.3j meters per second. Nice to know, but we want the magnitude of that because we want the speed of the ball. So the magnitude of our final vector it's going to be 14.4 squared plus a negative 44.3 squared, all that square root. If I can get this. So that's equal to 46.6 meters per second. So that is the magnitude of our velocity when it hits the ground, 46.6 meters per second.